Hey, how are you guys? <laughs> I got this. Oh, yep, it's bad. We're on there. <laughs> We're on. <laughs> how are you guys doing tonight? Let's see who all is in here. Uh, we had Brooke Trotter mm -hmm. in here. He said he might not be able to stay. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's okay. It's, we understand. Yeah. The Bartmans, you have a live. Yep, the the <laughs> Bartmans had stopped in for a moment. They're boiling syrup. Ooh. That's going to be yummy when it's done. Maple? Yep. Oh, good. My yeah. brother John. My brother John is in the house. He's just listening. John, Love you too, brother. Yeah. Tell Andrew I said hi. Mm -hmm. or we said hi. Yes. JR is in the house. Jerry from Butler Family Farms is in the house. Good. There's Clint. Good to see you, Clint, from Texas. And there's Big Family Expedition. Good to see you in here as well. Nice. And Jerry's greeting, folks. And there's Matt AK. Good to see you, Matt. And there's Hi, Dusty man. Bottom Boys <laughs> is in, the, in there as well. Grizzly Acres. Hi. And Alaska Cut the Cord. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Nice. So this week, we had three days straight of snow. We did. Intermittent between really, really fine snow to big, huge flats, fats, flakes. And we got a total accumulation over three days while well, it sank down a little bit before I got out to the measurement, but we're around six and a half inches. And it was windy. And it was really windy out for a couple of those days. So it's drifted out in places too. Mm -hmm. So we probably had closer to 10 inches overall. Probably. Ms. Kavan, good to see you. It's Ira. How are you and mom doing, Ira? Hopefully you're doing well down in Georgia. And there's Ed from Mountain Mariner. Hi, Ed. It says, hey, he land lovers, salt <laughs> dogs, and scurvy knaves. Yep. Scurvy knaves. Yep. <laughs> Let's see here. Jerry's greeting last cut the cord. Last cut cord's greeting them. And there's Ward Adams. Good to see you there, Ward. Hopefully you're doing well down there in the Kenai. Did you get any of that snow we had? I think you guys got some of the wind. Yeah, I think some people, even as far as New York, I heard from my sister-in-law, she got snow. Did they? Yeah. Can you guys hear Sarah okay? I she, was, she speaks very softly, so. I wasn't speaking very loudly. Sorry about that, folks. Oh. There, there's Railroad Mike. Good to see you, Mike. Hi, Mike. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm just telling Ed to hoist the colors. <laughs> ah. Hogan saying hello to all. Yep. Nice. Just greeting one another. Good. Okay. They said that they can hear you. Oh, good. 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 All right. So other than that. More. That was the porch. Don't know if you guys could hear that. That was the, uh, the snow coming off the roof. <laughs> it's come off three separate, at least three. That might be yeah. time number four. Yeah, Inspections. So. Both sides. Yep. Jerry said he's watching the weather here as well. They're getting some bad storms down that way where Jerry is. Oh, boy. Where is he? Um, <clears throat> Jerry, where are you at? Missouri or Oklahoma? I can't remember exactly. Okay. We talked so many so times bad. about your area, and I can never remember. Where I think he's near Joplin. So what's what's what? Oh gosh, I'm having a brain fart. Sorry, Joplin Jerry. Joplin, I know is Janice. So <laughs> 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 ah, the barman said just checking to checking to eat a few mm -hmm. forkfuls of garlic chicken stir or stir fry. No. You know what? Mm -hmm. There now I can read it better. Chicken stir fry, <laughs> good to go. <laughs> So Matt says it's cold and rainy in Utah. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. And there's Billy Sutton. Says hello to Rob and Sarah. Hi, everybody. Hi, Billy. There's cordless tool. And Jerry says under tornado watch here. Yeah, you be oh, careful boy. with that. Yeah, those are unpredictable, and it's they're really scary things. Yeah, they are. And there's Gary from Igmatic Witching. Good to see you. Hi, Gary. Hopefully, you and the family are doing well. Is it warming up up that way? And Jerry said it mostly went north of them. That's good. Yeah, Missouri. Yeah. I was right. Okay. I think. I can't remember what I said. I said a few different names, but yeah, he's from Missouri. Okay. You were all over the place. I think you were out in California at one point too, Jerry, when you were having your uh, talk about how you and Susan met and stuff. Oh. Clint says it's 82 and a nice light, nice breeze in oh. Texas. 
south there south of Joplin. Okay. Is Green one another big family expedition says, yeah, we're watching the weather here in Arkansas. Supposed to get some bad storms tonight, possibly hail and tornadoes. Yeah, oh, watch dear. out for that stuff. <clears throat> and there's Molly. That's Pest Hunter's best catch. For some reason, won't let me click it. Yep. And Jerry said they lived in San Diego. Good to see you, Molly. Okay. All right. So, yeah, um, not a lot been going around up here. we just been trying to deal with... Uh, the snow. Mm -hmm. We are hoping we're going to get to go anywhere snow, and we have not gotten not it yet. Even no, it's, I haven't been like anywhere. Yeah. I didn't even go to the creek. Yeah, I, I haven't taken Sarah out on the machines at all anywhere because if you go off the trail, you're stuck. You're stuck, and you're you're either the skis going off, and you're getting stuck that way, or or sucking you completely off the trail, or yeah. you know you get out there and. You're, you're riding like this because the tracks are sinking and the skis are sitting up on top and it's just not fun. We had two or three days where we had nice crusty snow and then it got too warm and we were not getting freezing at night. No. Nope. For almost two weeks, our average night was 33 degrees. Yeah. Now we're starting to, they're saying we're supposed to dip down to a lower temperature. We're sitting actually right now at 42. Right. I don't know what everybody else is. I don't know what Talkeaton is at or anything like that. I don't know. So... Well, yeah. that one time you went out trying to explore a little bit to see if you could get someplace a little yeah. where we usually go and go anywhere. So and I got stuck. It was stuck. You had to walk back. Walk to the back house. about a mile. Got my sled. And if you guys have seen the community tab, <laughs> you'll kind of it's see so part of what happened with that. <laughs> but that video will be out in a, a week or two. Yeah. Um, and he got his. Uh, the winch. Winch. Yeah. When I came back to get the winch and the, yep. the drill for it. Mm -hmm. Screen here, buddy. It yep. says nine days until he's off. He, days left at work. That's good. Oh, Ed. you'll be happy to be home. Yep. Get up to your hilltop. Turn into the hermit that you know you want to be. Yes. Absolutely. Kim from Mickey Dog Mom says, good evening, Robin, Sarah, and everyone in the chat. Good to see you in here, Kim. Okay. Troy saying hello to everybody. See, I'm just skimming through, see if there's any questions. Don't forget, if you have any questions, put a bunch of cues in there. Give us a thumbs up. Say it, tag us in or something, and we'll uh, make sure we get to your question. Mm -hmm. um, it says, so what's the story with the jet sled? <laughs> You'll have to wait to see the video, Ed. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, dear. Mm. He took, it's my little sled. That's, really, just a little sled. That's what Sarah uses around the house I, for pulling snow around to bring in the house for melting down and stuff like that and, and gardening things. And, and I put wood in it and drag it across the compound to the from the one woodshed to here to the house. Yep. And, uh, I drag a lot of stuff in that thing. Mm -hmm. Can't get Zeus to sit in it to save my skin. No. Nope, he's he won't, a chicken dog. He won't be a, a sled dog. He won't no. be a getting a sled dog. He's he won't go a, near a snow machine. Won't go no. near a four wheeler. He'll ride in a side by side all day long because it yeah. remind, reminds him of a truck. Yes. We shouldn't talk about him too much because he'll start barking. He'll start being obnoxious. And Iris says, "I once lived in southeast LS. Um, southeast is near Oka Okla, real tornado country." Had a tornado Probably shelter Oklahoma. in the back. Yeah. Yeah, Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, oh, Oklahoma. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no. A tornado shelter. Good thing to have. Yep. No, I don't I don't miss those tornadoes and hurricanes and no. stuff like that from the southeast or even in Texas area, Louisiana, right. and the Gulf right. Coast, and even the East Coast. Matt says rotten snow under fresh snow sucks. Oh yeah. That it does. It oh. yep. And Jerry's saying to big yeah, just north of you guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mike says, sounds like you go, go nowhere. nowhere. No, pretty <laughs> yeah, much. Pretty go nowhere much. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I, I have been able to get to certain places, but it's on my old trails that I had packed down earlier this year. Mm -hmm. But I can't trust them because I've caught the ski and it's gone off. And luckily, I've got quick enough reflexes. I could stand up on the other, other uh, board on the snow machine and get to come back up. Not me. Everybody's greeting one another. The Suttons are greeting one another. Let's see. It says uh, 33 at the cabin right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you're a little higher elevation, so you're going to yeah, get that are. wind in the cold yeah. there, Ed. Yeah. Big countries. 
our big family expedition says, yeah, we're right on the Missouri Arkansas border about 45 mm -hmm. minutes from Branson. Okay. I've been in that area in years. I'm not familiar mm -hmm. with it. Mike says it's 45 degrees here at Carillion Acres. Okay. So you're, you're a little bit warmer than us. Warmer. Mm -hmm. Just giving through everybody talking back and forth. There's Matt's Garage. Good to see you in there, uh, Matt's Garage. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's 31 of Valdez. That's why I'm saying uh oh. Oh, yeah. Mr. Someone's Weinbeck. making a noise. Doopy doo. <laughs> John, we had to talk about you and Zeus and M&M's the other day on the phone. Oh, we did. Yes. If I say it, Zeus can be sleeping in the other room, and we moved the couch to, to, to clean under it, and there was a sole M&M there, and I said, uh-oh, M&M down, and Zeus came running from the other running. room. Running. Looking for his M&M. Where is he going now? Is he heading for the he door? He wants to go out. Oh, you want to do it? Sure. And Ward said, bad time of year for snow machine. Because the snow turns to sugar. Yeah. Well, if it would freeze at night again, we'd be all right. But it's not really, I wouldn't call it sugar up here. It's more like slush. It's uh, just really mushy underneath. It was going down really quickly. There's places where I've only got about a foot of snow in the yard. But then there's still places from the drifting now. We're back up to three. JR says it rained for a week. Now it's 73. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh, my. The Bartman's are saying it's 39 degrees here with wind with a forecast of three to five inches over the next 48 hours. So, yeah, wow. you sound like what we just had. Yeah. Just skipping everybody checking back and forth. Hogan says uh, the word snow should be outlawed on this channel, <laughs> just like Taco Bell. No, we live in Alaska. It's part of our life, part, John. Yes. We're I gonna would, have snow. I would like to know more of the terms that native alaskans have for snow because i was dumping snow into the from a bucket into the back of the stove where i melt my water and the snow acts different almost every day it's a different kind of snow and i had always heard that the alaskans have a name for each different kind of snow i don't know any of them all i know is yep. wet <laughs> wet fluffy. snow fluffy snow <laughs> and those are not names, they're descriptions. And as Paul Davis says, good evening, Rob and Sarah. Hello to everyone here. 77 here today. Mm. Mike, I'm not even going to read that one. What they say? <laughs> TB. Taco Bell. Oh. See, you made me do it. You should know. You should know. We've done, I should know. We've been doing I was lives. Thinking teddy bear. We've been doing lives almost a year now, right. and she should know this. I should know this. Ward saying hi to JR. And Billy Sutton says, got to 81 here wow. today. Predicted 85. Glad didn't make it. Yeah, yeah. Don't blame me on we, that. Oh, that's too hot. Too hot. Jerry says, you're in the south of Joplin. It's a big city of 136 mm. people. <laughs> called Spark <laughs> City. And there's Ashley. Good to see you, Ashley. Ed says, my new players, 9R Chaos, needs the snow to cooperate for at least three to four more weeks, right? Oh, wow. You got to get that thing broken in for next yeah. year. Yeah. Yep. Always cocktails there, Ward. Mm -hmm. Sarah's drinking her Manhattan, I and am. I'm drinking my rum and coke. Yep. Everybody's greeting him. Ashley's, Ashley's come in. Ira says, the last... This last week, weather has, ooh, where'd it go? There it goes. Has been been made to order. High like 70s, 70s, but soon we'll get too hot. Yeah. Yeah. We add that well. Mm -hmm. And there's Miss Alone. Good to see you alone. Hi, Alone. And there's Lee and Mains. Hello, Rob and Sarah. Hope all is Hi. well up your way. It is. It is. We've had a really good oh, week. Oh, good and good. We're actually greeting people. And Mike says, I blame John Hogan. He said Taco Bell in today's chat. <laughs> first. He said it first. Yes. <laughs> He's an unruly character. <laughs> uh, JR is greeting alone. Ashley's dropping things, links. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Miss Alone, for saying give these two a thumbs up. Appreciate oh, that. Bless your heart. Ward says nice about our drinks, probably. I think that's what he's talking about. We'll see. Um, Billy's greeting Iran alone. 
Clint says, I had dinner from the place whose name shall not be mentioned. <laughs> well I don't done. Know about you people. Well done, Clint. Uh, Ash says, new phone, bear with me. Oh, mm -hmm. you finally got a new phone. Well, you got to get a new phone for your trip. You're, mm -hmm. you're heading out here really soon, there, Ashley. You be sure, we'll Clearly. see you on Saturday. Yes, absolutely. Can't wait. Looking forward to that. His PTL Fabrication says, hello, all, Rob. Did you avoid any shocking experiences while wiring? Yeah, I, I never yeah, have any problems doing wiring. <laughs> I, I'm not the any. I'm not the best with 120, even though it's just as simple as the 12 volt. It's just a little bit more power. I just don't know why it bothers me. I I've done it quite a few times, even on boats. Mm -hmm. But pretty much everything's wired in. I just got to add one out, two outlets, wired. three outlets, one out on the front, two out on the front deck, and one behind um, my nightstand. Oh yeah, we need one by your nightstand. Yeah, uh, there's just one on that wall. Yeah, that's not enough. Oh, I think I put the box in. I just got to find it and mm. cut it out on the inside. Oh my. And Rushing Wind, how you doing, Ruby? Just hello, Robin, Sarah. From, you're from the start, but editing while listening, not a problem. Oh, yes. Multitasking. Yep. Well done. Hopefully you got a really nice scenic uh, video coming out there, Ruby. All yours usually are. Lovely. Big family expedition. Get, got the thumbs up. Yep. Appreciate that. All right, so he's dropping links. Looks like for PTL. And Ruby at Rushing Wind Mountain. Everybody's greeting Miss Alone. And Billy's laughing at Clint. <laughs> and Mike is reminding everybody to hit the thumbs up. Hey, there's oh. Henry Leslie, Vermont. Good to see you there, Hen Henry, Henry Leslie. Mm -hmm. Hello, I've been busy here. Cheers. Well, hopefully it's a uh, good, good spring out there in Vermont. Yeah. You guys get much snow? Ashley's saying yeah, woo-hoo. <laughs> He's getting excited. <laughs> Yay. Mm -hmm. Is this your first time flying, Ashley? Or have you flown before? It's going to be a long flight. Hopefully not too it's a long. long flight. So Sarah and I's first flight here, oh, it was forever. forever. It was like almost 20 hours. Oh, we went from, went from Orlando to L.A., from L.A. to Phoenix, from Phoenix to Seattle, Seattle to here. It was crazy. Yeah, it saved us a lot of money. It I did, mean, we, and he made the trip. Yeah, the I, I booked it within fast. like two. It, we booked it and we left in two days. Yeah, but we were still for two two round trip tickets. We were under seven hundred dollars. Yeah, it was really good. But that was, was COVID. That, yeah, it was during COVID time, and it was also because you know we took those crazy stops too. Crazy stops. Hello, and greeting folks. Mm -hmm. Everybody's greeting R Ruby. Ward says we're having sleet and or hail storm right now or oh. storm right right night right. now. Wow. wow. You now stay safe down there. Mm -hmm. I know uh, Sean didn't do his live the other day because he had a bunch of cleanup to do around the property. Mm -hmm. I, I think you're pretty close to him too, aren't you, Ward? Uh, okay, Doug Mom, which is Kim, says weather was real nice here in PA today, but calling for thunderstorms, even possible tornado activity Ooh. tomorrow. What's this tornado business? It's they're happening earlier yeah. and earlier, it seems like and, every year. And in odder places, I never remember a, a tornado in Pennsylvania. Right. Hey, there's Brett Trout. He says, Hey, all I'm here just kind of listening. Not a problem, Brett Trout. That's and the Bartman say, just came in to finish my stir fry. Hello to all on chat. Got to go back to outside. Not a problem there, <laughs> Bartmans. Yep. Hopefully that syrup's coming out good. You oh, probably yeah. uh, probably do the first and second boil tonight and probably finish it tomorrow. Yeah. No, that's what I do. That's a long time boiling. That's a long time. That's a long time. Everybody's greeting everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I used he to. He just hit the front, the back door. Did you he? want to check him? Yeah, I, I started him. Him. I didn't hear him. Everybody's JR's greeting everybody, and everybody's greeting Brooke Trout. And there's Danielle. Good to see you, Danielle. Says, Hi, guys. You guys look great tonight. Thank you, Danny. How are you guys doing down there in uh, North Carolina? Yeah, Ward, it definitely is a long flight. Oh, and Danny, I'm going to. Send you a message later to talk to you about uh, what you're using for your electrical fence. I'm curious. Let's see. Matt says, I had to fly through Phoenix a couple of years ago. That airport is the worst. Don't know. We didn't really. We, 
it, we got off our plane, great... we only had to go about five terminals over and we got to where we had to be. Zoom, zoom, LA it was a pain in the butt. Oh, it was and awful. It's midday and nothing was open. I wanted a cup of coffee. No way. I wasn't getting a cup of coffee because the Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and McDonald's, everything was closed except for like one restaurant. I'm like, this size airport and you got one restaurant open at mm -hmm. midday. That's like, crazy. That's nuts. That's crazy. And Henry Leslie saying, Kamoja, Alaska, lots of late spring snow. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's not fun. That's, that's what we got, too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we haven't hit spring yet. No, we haven't hit spring. <laughs> that was like third Spring winter. is different here than there. <laughs> Ashley says, hey. Zuby. No. Yeah, Ashley doesn't say Zuby. Um, as she says, never flown Dallas, Fort Worth, almost six hour layover. Oh, that's odious. If you don't hush, I'm going to tell Uncle John no more num ms These are just my flat. <laughs> <laughs> He's very chatty tonight. Hey, and Do you there's want to go on the rambling with the brooms. Good to see you, Scott. Let's see. Billy says to Brooke Trout, hello to Brooke Trout. I was thinking about you today. Stay strong, brother. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to put him on the porch. Let's go porch. <laughs> He's trying to be all sweet and innocent over there, and it's not working. He's there being you. silly. Everybody's He's greeting one another. Raw. Yeah. Uh, Paul Davis says, Tornado Alley has changed. Yeah, it definitely has. Did it get wider? I think so. Yeah. Scott and Ashley both sharing out a bunch of links. Navar says, good evening all, calling for 70 here on Wednesday. Snow could go fast. So mm, there you go. Yeah, it could at 70. Sounds like the potential for mud. Yeah, definitely. And Scott's dropping Ruby's link. Mm -hmm. Danielle says, we are hot. Temps rising, 80 plus degrees. Mm. Okay, I'll be happy to share about the fence. Thanks, Dan. Mm -hmm. And there's Backyard Trucker. Good to see you in here, Backyard Trucker. And Scott's dropping Matt's Garage's link. And again, if you have questions, make sure you hit us up for the questions. Give us some question marks or tag us in it or something, some way to get our attention because I skip over a lot of everybody chip chatting back and forth so we don't get too far behind on the comments. Right now, I'm only about two minutes behind, which is kind of amazing. Uh, Matt says... That's how Phoenix was that time. Everything was closed, and a couple of places that were open ran out of ran food. Ran out of food. Yeah, it was like Boy. 7 p.m. Yeah, that's huh. crazy. Wow. And his Lipstick Lodge. Good to see you. You're not that late. Right. We haven't not been going that, that long. Nope. So you got here just as you needed to be. You're all good. And Danielle's thanking Ashley for the shout out. Oh, the draft horses. Yes. Yeah. Henry Les is saying hello to Scott. Ruby says, we have a 75% chance of snow this Wednesday. Our... Mm. That's kind of late in the year for you guys to get snow, yeah. isn't it, Ruby? Mm. Matt's garage says, and there's Seattle Airport perpetually understaffed. Yeah. Um, or, or is it under construction? I can't really tell. I think it's under construction. Now, I, we're not a fan of uh, Seattle at all. No. Is that where we got... That's where we were made late by TSA oh, on purpose. Oh, it was horrible. 40, and Zeus was already on, on the, the plane. plane. 45 minutes for them to go through Sarah's satchel just to realize, oh, it's something she can have. But yet we couldn't touch the bag to show them what it was. And, and I couldn't remember. We'd packed it. Yeah, they I wouldn't mean, let us look at anything. They just, you know, he's sitting there fiddling with it. He sent it back through x-ray, fiddle with it, sent it back through x-ray. And I finally said, did you realize we missed our flight? And he that's all we got. I said, here's another thing. Our dog's on there. And if I don't get there to get him off and he goes to Alaska without us, there's going to be some hell to pay. Yes. And it was about two minutes later. He said, okay, you're free to go. Mm -hmm. And we had to beep feed it to our terminal oh, it was and tell them, get our dog off the plane now. Yeah. We tried to get on the plane, but that wasn't no, going to happen. Already, they the doors were the doors. closed and locked. And... Yep. Let's see. Scott says we're we are to get ten to twenty inches of snow this week. There you go, Scott. Oh Better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit. Hmm. Jr says just check nine hundred seventy-four first 
for round uh, round trip first class stop one stop Seattle from from Southwest Oregon. Yeah, but you get all those frequent flyer miles probably. That's why your first class is so cheap. I can't even know. I'm never going out of Alaska again because. No reason to. I mean, no. I have family that if something happens to them, I have to go. Yeah. You know, and not family like John, you yes. know, a few others, you know, doesn't mean you get permission to do anything stupid, John. True. Uh, Matt says we're supposed to hit 71 here in a couple of days and then crash back down to the mid 40s. Oh, my. Rain and snow. Got to love spring. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'd just be happy for the temperatures during the 40s during the day and the 20s at night. So it's just sure. a crusty snow. Oh, that would be just so good. That's what it's supposed to be. Here. I'd like to be out there getting some wood right now. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it was even hard. There were trees down on the Yeah, trail. we had a couple of trees down on, on the trail, trail. in the, the storm we had. Because it wasn't just snow. It, it was, was wind. a lot of wind. Mm -hmm. And nothing new on the trail cams, which is driving me mm -hmm. nuts. I get to two, two brand new trail cams and now nothing wants to wander around. Uh, Billy says to Matt, okay, I, I think COVID lowered the bar and mm -hmm. I don't see it getting back <laughs> where it was, right? Yeah. Everybody's greeting one another and thanking folks for dropping links. Matt says to Billy, one, one worker told me they were having a hard time finding employees that could pass the required security background checks for working at an airport. Oh, I wouldn't yeah. doubt that. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, there's trouble. Seal pots. How are you and Cowboy doing in Montana? Oh, my. Hi, Rob and Sarah, Jim and Seal in yeah. the house. Are you guys at the, at the cabin or are you, uh, you at the pub? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Seal and uh, Jim. Are, mm -hmm. uh, well, Seal was a sur got surveyed down in Florida, and Jim was actually one of my clients, and he became one of her clients, and they became a, a couple, and they're really good people. You know, I haven't seen either one of them. I think the last well, time I've seen them was when we went on a survey ride for that island packet. Mm -hmm. That you went up to the top of the mast and you get up there and said, get me down because the clevis pin was coming out or whatever it was oh, at the top. Mercy. It was wearing through after the lightning strike. But I think that was the last time I've seen you guys. You guys got to get up here. Cabin's yep. empty. Come on, Jim. Cabin's empty. Ward says, uh, push the like button, please. Thank you, Ward. Uh -huh. Appreciate that. Sweet. Lipstick Lodge says, Sean, Sean is sick. Hope he gets better. Yeah, he was oh, down yeah. for a little bit. He seemed a little bit better on Facebook the other day, but I'm sure it's not out of his system yet. Mm -hmm. Everybody's chatting back and forth and greeting Seal and Jim. Henry Leslie says, snow coming here on Wednesday to my Jen, uh, Russian Wind Mountain. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's, it's The weather's getting really odd on how it comes and goes. You know, and who's getting what at what time of year? This has been our weirdest winter. Yeah, it's been the least snow we've had too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's Marketplace Boutique. Good to see you in here. Nice. <laughs> she says the backyard trucker tag you're it. <laughs> I see cute. both. I see both them in a lot of different lives. Oh, cute. They're both good people. I think I met a uh, Marketplace Boutique to uh, Super Chat with Kevin. Ashley's dropping links. Marketplace is saying hello. Happy April. Mm -hmm. JR says we don't miss issue. Don't miss. Don't issue mics on corporate private jets. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long have you been retired from flying, JR? I can't remember. You've been what five, six years? Hmm. And Matt says I like fifties high to. Highs, 30s, 30s lows, low. just about perfect for everything I like to do. Exactly. That'd mm -hmm. be that'd be ideal. Yeah. Maybe to the 60s would be really good. I can do 60s. Yeah. Billy says to Matt, even the military keeps lowering their enlistment requirements. Uh -huh. And they still have trouble meeting their right, goals. Meeting their goals. Right. That's pretty bad. So I shouldn't have my glasses on for reading. It used to be there was a draft. Yeah, well, that, that ended up to Vietnam. Yes, it did. Everybody's greeting Marketplace. And PTL says, Orlando, Florida is a crazy terminal. We didn't have a problem in Orlando. What we had a problem with was parking. Oh, parking was complicated. And the, the roads. Well, the roads, the were, roads don't bother me. I just throw my GPS I, and just go. He goes. I just close my eyes and go. 
Yeah. My driving's not that bad. No. <laughs> Thank you, Scott and Ashley, for dropping links. I'm sure yeah. everybody appreciates those links. And if, if these guys are dropping links in our lives, the folks that they're dropping the links for are well worth to go see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Joe says, we didn't issue miles on private. Yeah, that's right. I forgot you were private true, yet. True, true, true. Yeah. Everybody's greeting, folks. Mm -hmm. Ed says, I've only had one snowshoe hair on camera in the last two oh, weeks. Well, at least you're getting rabbits. Yeah, I haven't seen have a rabbit yet since not, I've been here. No. This is the third winter, and no we haven't seen one. rabbits. <clears throat> Henry says, it's been great maple sugaring, Kamaja, and I bet it has. Oh, Yeah. Oh, more snow just come off the roof. I was like, yeah. what's there rumbling? That was I used earthquake. to, um, it, when um, my maple syrup was really just about done, I would take it in the house and boil it on the gas stove in the house, in the kitchen, until it got to be maple cream. And then mm -hmm. whip it. And it was good. Very good, Seal. She's at the cabin, Jim's at the pub. Ah. <laughs> you need a break. Yeah. Have you been back down to uh, Southwest Florida doing any surveys? It's funny. I was looking back on uh, some of my photos, and I've seen a lot of the old stuff come up from back when I was working on the boats and stuff. And an IP that I'd worked on, at first I thought it was the IP we were on with Jim. And then I looked a little close, and it was, um, I think we were on IP 38 or 40 with Jim, and it was an IP 34. Six that I was looking at on the photo. That poor boat. And you have your priorities yeah. Yeah. straight here at the cabin. They haven't done anything to that boat in 10, 15 years. Oh it's the poor island packet is it's gonna that's, go down to the bottom. That's a long time for no service to a boat. Especially not a packet, it's not a cheap sailboat. That's a long time for no service to house. Yeah. And now that I'm gone. She probably won't pay anybody yeah. else to do it because wow. I was the cheap guy in town. Yeah. Cheapest and most expensive. Cheapest, but one of the most the experienced best. and always busy. Mm -hmm. and Seal says, we will. Yay. Just let me know when, Seal. I'll uh, make mm -hmm. sure that the cabin's open Dude. for you guys. Oh, absolutely. Get you guys up here for a week. That'd be great. And Lee says, this coming Wednesday, Thursday, another nor'easter heading here oh, to New England. Ooh, mm -hmm. I don't miss that. See, I don't miss yeah. the New England snow because it was just cold and wet. It was. Upstate New York was a different kind of cold. Yep. I have not been nearly as cold here as I was there. And I grew up there. I was used to it. Scott says, I feel his pain. <laughs> <laughs> Which pain, Scott? <laughs> How are you doing, Scott? You still, um, you get over mm -hmm. your little bug that you had, my friend? Mm -hmm. I know you were down for a little bit. Oh. And Ruby says, truly messing up the little planting season. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah we're we're leery about, in gun shy about starting our stuff yet, because last time we did this, we had oh. them ready. They were ready to go into the greenhouse because we were having beautiful days, and then we had three feet of snow. Yep. So we're going to probably start our vegetables tomorrow, get them into the, the seed pots, get it, them going. Yeah, at least the seed pots. We'll see Everybody's greeting each other. Big family expedition says, I'm sure you're excited about spring and summer. Yeah, we actually are. Usually yeah. we love this, uh -oh. the winter because we can, it's a lot easier to get around. Our trails are smoother. It is. But we're really looking forward to this summer for a few reasons. We have a lot going on here that we're trying to get done. We're trying to get mm -hmm. the business up and running here. Um. We have a number of you know fun things planned out solo and with Adam McBillish from Alaska Cut the Cord. Yeah. You know, so there's gonna be a lot of fun things coming up this summer. And there's a slight chance my uh older brother, one of my older brothers, might be coming up here. He's a photographer. He, he mm -hmm. actually started off in the oil field and then he went to work for National Geo as a photographer for a while. Then he's back now he's back doing high voltage splicing because he enjoys it. He likes the thrill of the electric <laughs> And he called me up the other morning and he says, Hey, find out what it takes for us to get into um, what is it? I think it's Ketame. Mm. Um State that Park. Familiar. See if we can go out there and view the bears. So there's a slight chance that my brother and I could go out there and do some photography work on the mm. bears, maybe do a little bit of fly fishing. Mm -hmm. while we're out there so kind of keep my fingers crossed and he's going to get back to me i sent him a bunch of information 
and he'll get back to me here in the next day or so. I mean, I thought it was going to be really expensive to get out there, and it's really not that bad. Um, you can get one plane. It's like nine hundred dollars to get out there, and you get it's a whole plane. They don't do by the passion; it goes by the weight. Mm -hmm. And then another mm -hmm. one, if, if we bring a whole bunch of camera gear, which I know my brother will, mm -hmm. um, he's a Nikon guy, and we'll probably take a good amount of stuff for just for a couple of days. And the big beaver, I think, was like fourteen hundred dollars for the whole plane. So if you get a whole bunch of people together, you know, you can get it. So the flight's on like two, three hundred dollars a piece if you can fill it up to the max. I think it's five people on that beaver. So we'll see about that one. I'm I'm hoping that he comes up with that. You know, we can get out there. Ashley saying hey to Grizzly. Southeast has lots of fun. Or is S East has lots oh, of funds. Yeah. I don't know if that's Sean or Southeast. Oh my gosh, Bron, where have you been? <laughs> We've been missing you. Yes. We've been missing our Aussie time. Yes. I have been seeing your videos though. Yes. But we haven't had you or onto it into the live chats in a while. Um, we're all having our Aussie, you know, vocabulary deficiency here. <laughs> we're trying to remember how to speak Aussie. Didn't somebody tell us what they were doing in that was a long time. Well, I know onto it. She's um, got computer issues after the, uh, oh, the storms yeah, that they yeah, had. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and she was waiting to get a new one. But Brun's always doing Brun stuff. She's always take care of oh, folks yes. and stuff. Mm -hmm. She pops in on occasion. Um, check your dog. I hear something squeaking. I don't hear him <laughs> squeaking. And JR says, oh, my, my how to make your wife laugh in three easy steps. One, hold her hand, look into her eyes, tell her. You're the you're the man in the house. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to get shot, Jr. No. Haven't you learned that You'll yet? You'll get laughed. Yeah, laughed at then shot. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Oh, Zuby. no squeaking! You just came in. Come here, sis. Come here. Come here. Come here. Over this way. You want to make yeah, your? You want to make come your around. Cameras? There you go. There. There's my buddy. Oh, See, boy. look, there's everybody on there, and it looked there's these friends on there. She's Australian, you should like her. <laughs> yeah. woof. Oh, no, woofing. I know you've been Americanized, so you don't like Aussies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Want to give him a ninny? Yes, I'm going to have to, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, because he's going to continue barking. He's, he's in a mood, he is in a mood. And well, Lord's saying, looks like Lodge, he's doing better. Yeah, good. Scott says 80 to 100, 100 is perfect. Everybody's greeting Bron. JR. JR says he retired in 2010. Yeah, I didn't think it was that long ago. More than five years, though, that I thought. Bron's saying thanks to Ashley and hope you're well. Wait, Billy, Scott's dropping links. And there's Madunanda. Good to see you in here. So, hello, Rob and Sarah. How have you been? Hopefully, you're doing well down in California. And again, if you guys have questions, please ask questions. And back here, Truck said, These lives are awesome. Meet new people. Yes, you'll meet a lot of good people through a lot of the different channels, even the ones that are in here. You know, like you know, I can't even name everybody that's in here. There's a lot of them in here that are really, I mean, they're all amazing channels. It's the last yeah, it's probably underneath one of the chairs. Yep. Yeah, she says, Bren, I'll be amazing on Wednesday. Yes, when you get to Alaska. <laughs> and Marketplace says, rabbits all, all come around my yard, to my yard. Yep. Not here. Bren is greeting Clint. Billy's greeting Madu. Let's see. Oop, there's a question. Lee says, Rob, have you ever been... Baking any? Have you been baking? I bake bread every week. <laughs> you did not yesterday. No, I was going to do it today too, but I didn't because we still have about a half a loaf of bread. So I'm going to need to get on that tomorrow. I need to get on that. Yeah, I, I usually be doing my baking on uh, Sundays. And I don't know why I didn't do it yesterday. What were we doing yesterday? Oh, I was trying to deal with the the down trees. Oh yeah. And then it didn't work very well. Yeah, and I was moving a log. You know, because I'm stubborn, I just grabbed the whole log and I tore the muscle right in here and it was all swollen up and started to go black and blue. And it's since receded, so it's not so bad. It's 
hurting, but not as bad as it was yesterday. So yeah, I got to do my baking tomorrow. Uh, back here, trucker says I get turkeys. I get moose turkeys. and bear. <laughs> I had turkeys in New York. I'm a lot of them. I never was. I, I like turkey, but I'm not a fan of raising them. These were wild. Scott says it sucks here. We've got a quarter of what we normally get. Yeah, and we're about uh, probably about a fifth of what we normally get here, Scott. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, it's the first year here. We had off the modest. Now we had over ten feet just in February. My dude says hello, everyone. Rest. The beautiful um, and the rest of the beautiful people. I've lost it. There they are. What are you looking for? My glasses. Okay. I'll get real ones in spring. Yep. And Billy says, back there, trucker, I agree. And Seal says, I, I've been going once every three weeks. Oh, that's not bad. So you get out of Montana at least every three weeks. Oh, it was an IP380. Yeah, that's what it was. That's right. You know, I wonder if the girls still have the uh, Marine Trader I redid for Jim. Oh. I, I redid the deck on it, and they bought it from Jim. And then I wanted painting the whole superstructure for him. Mm -hmm. That was a pain in the butt. Yeah, because there's some tight spots in that. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen Seal, the... Um, oh, God, no, I'm going to brain fart on that paint. I hate when that happens. I like Seal paints. They have the additive you put in the uh, paint. And when you roll it out, it almost looks as good as spraying. Wow. And when I did that on the girls' boat, they almost died on how well it came out. So was I, because it was the first time I ever used it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I can try. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know, because I'd always sprayed my boats. So I, I sprayed my Endeavor. I sprayed the uh, the Irwin a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, and other than that, I always rolled and tipped it. Roll and tipped. No idea. That's yeah, not fun. You, know, you get to roll a little bit on, then you get to go back with a brush and tip it off so you don't get no runs uh, and it flattens it out. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of that. Mm -hmm. Anybody's greeting Billy and Clint. That's Ashley greeting, greeting Clint. Marketplace Boutique says, you got a lot of wildlife now that with that bird feeder. Yeah, we got backyard, chickadees. Backyard <laughs> trucker. He's talking to backyard trucker. Oh, trucker. Mm. Yeah, we... Uh, we haven't really seen much lately. And no. we had a, the only thing that oh, was odd that we a... saw, we had a magpie in the chicken coop earlier. Don't know how. In the outdoor part. Yeah, in the outdoor yeah. part. But it got itself out, so. It got itself in. Yep. Ashley, Clint's saying hello to Ashley. Seal says, I'm ready to be done with Southwest Florida. I love yeah. it here in Montana. Yeah. yeah. Don't blame you. And from what I hear, Punta Gorda's gotten really bad with all the traffic. I bet it's really bad. You know, now they got Sun Seekers opened up because it's horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, back here, Trucker says 17 turkeys yesterday. That's a lot of turkey. It's a lot of turkeys. Seal says, Yay, we will see you this year. Yes. I hope so. Like I said, just uh, get in, have, have Jim get in touch with me, or you can, and mm -hmm. we'll figure out when. That way we can make sure that we're here. We're here and the, <laughs> and the cabins, and the cabins are available. Empty. empty. If not, we'll we'll figure something out. Yep. Might better bribe. Where's Mac? I don't see Mac in here yet. Oh. Um, yeah. Could always put you in his place. I'm sure he wouldn't give me a hard time if I do some maintenance for him. Mm -hmm. Um back to the truck saying yes to marketplace boutique. And Henry says, enjoy, gotta run. Not a problem, Henry. You guys have a great day up there in Vermont. And watch out for that snow. <laughs> Scott says, first day I tested negative and I finished my antibiotics yesterday. Very mm. good, Scott. Stop getting sick, man. Mm. Don't worry about mm -hmm. you, brother. Mm -hmm. Saying bye to Henry. Mm -hmm. Liam Mayne says to Ashley, are you going to AK for a visit or to look for a place to move? <laughs> I'll let him answer that. Uh, right, exactly. Billy Sun saying hi to Henry Leslie. Hey, I haven't seen you in here in a while. There's Nordic Micro Farm. How hmm. are you doing? I've got to catch up on your oh, videos. I need oh, to go back and look at some of yeah. your um, winter stuff that you were doing. Like with the, uh, I think it was lavender. Oh, yes, it's the middle of the night there. Yes, it is. I haven't oh. seen Cato in a while. I have to, no, I have to get on no. Facebook and check on him. 
Um, says, hi guys, long yeah. time no see, 2.30 a.m. in Norway, couldn't yeah. sleep, so finally I'm able to follow one of your lives. I'm so glad to have you. Hope you're but I okay. hope you can get back to sleep and get right. some rest. And that you have a great, uh, had a great Easter spring finally, Rob. No, 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 no spring. No spring. Oh, no, no we've, spring. We've had two springs. and Yeah, yeah right. Neither winter, of them took. Winter came back and said, not yet. Not yet. Um, Ash says, Lee, all of the above through a question <laughs> about what he's going here for. Ah, uh, yes. Everybody's greeting Nordic. And Brun says, I'll be listening in background on the TV, doing cleaning at my folks' house today. Not a oh. problem, Brun. I'm yeah. glad you made it in here. Mm -hmm. Make sure Absolutely. you can make it and say hi to Adam and Phyllis when they uh, start their live here in about an hour. Mm -hmm. And Michael, Marketplace Boutique saying hi to Nordic Microfarm. Jar saying hi to Brun. And Nordic says, good morning, good night. Or good night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, you're up late. Mm -hmm. She Lee says to Ashley, that's great. Best of everything. Hope Absolutely. all goes smooth, right? Yeah. Scott's we dropping links to Lee and Maine. And there's MP. Good to see you, MP. Hello from hi there from Sleepy Holland. Sleepy Holland. <laughs> yep. That's another one that's up late. Oh, I guess. If so. it's 2 30 where in Finland, it's gonna be about 12 30, 1 30 your time, isn't it, MP? Uh, wow. I mean, saying he's a cute, cute doggy, Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's a good dog. He is sometimes. a good boy. He just gets rambunctious when we're on here. He he doesn't understand that we're talking to you guys. <laughs> right. So he wants to, you know, get between us and wants us to talk to him or go rough him up. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times mm -hmm. when he does that in the afternoon, he wants to wrestle. And I'll get him on the floor and we'll roll around for a few minutes until either I'm winded or he's winded. <laughs> or both. Or both. <laughs> yes, or he stomps on me too hard because he'll oh. come running across the room and jump right on me. Mm -hmm. He's a fun, and he's heavy. Yeah, he's yeah. He's way too heavy. Way yeah, he's, too fat. He's gonna go on that. We started walking and, the other day, and we gotta we stopped because of snow, so we need to get back into that starting yeah. tomorrow again. And the spring, he'll be be able to walk better. Yeah, more. We're gonna get his boots on him so he doesn't get all his toes filled with snow. Yes, and then he cries and wants to be carried back, and my back is not carrying an eighty-five no. pound dog. He's way too heavy. Man, she at least says, I take a towel to his paws and get the snowballs out. Mm -hmm. He is a spoiled brat. Yep. Everybody's saying puppy. And she mm -hmm. actually says, uh, Lee, air travel would be the big deal, but not worried. I might just miss my flight home. LOL. <laughs> <All right. laughs> if you do, Ash, just come on back up just and we'll put you in the cabin. Yep. <laughs> yep. Clint says he just wants some love. Yeah, mm -hmm. he always wants mm -hmm. some love and some some treats in his mini. He is a very cuddly dog. Yeah. And Nora says, you have spring yet? Nope, not yet. No. We've had fall springs and third winters. Yeah. Uh, Brooke this is third winter, isn't it? This, are we in it yeah, now? I think so. This is the third one. Yeah. Brooke Trout says, when is Brun doing a live? That would be a hoot <laughs> yeah. or a koala or whatever they say. <laughs> whatever they say. <laughs> Uh, it says, are the snow buntings around yet? I don't think I so. We, seen... Only thing we get in our, our feeder here is you know, once in a blue moon, Chick we, we might get a magpie, mm -hmm. but it's predominantly uh, chickadees and the red poles. Mm -hmm. I haven't mm -hmm. really seen anything else. No, I haven't either. We used to have gray jays. Yeah, the gray jays. I haven't seen but gray that, jays. We haven't seen them in a year. All year this year. Nothing. That was actually the first magpie I've seen in a while today. Right. I think I haven't seen one. I didn't. I don't think I saw one all last winter. Gray Jay? Yeah. No, magpie. Oh, magpie. No, I didn't see any last I, winter. I saw no, I did first... down by the tracks yeah. with her feet on in the dead yeah. moose. Yes, uh, yes. Arm says, howdy all. What do you have planned for a garden this year? Vegetables. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're hoping for big fat tomatoes. Yeah, I've got um, a, I forgot to get seeds. the seeds. I gotta call Mary and They're, see if Mary can pick me up some of the steaks. Yeah, we my San Marinos didn't get very big no. last year or very ripe. We had to ripen them in bags. Yeah, sweet peas. Yeah. Uh, green beans. Yeah. And I need to find out where I can order that Yukon corn at. It's got the really yes. short grow time on it. Mm-hmm. And we might have a place to put that this year. Yeah. Well, I can clear a little bit for that easily. Right where the old greenhouse used yeah. to be. No, that's going to be carrots. 
That's right. Because it's you sandy. Said carrots. Mm, Lee says, oh no, ouch. Yep. Mm. Come on. And Billy says, yeah, Bron, you should do a live, right? Yes. <laughs> and Ashley says, Lee, my ex wife asked if I was coming back. I'm not sure if it was a question or a request. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. Seal says, Northern Lights question. Jim has never seen a Northern Lights. How often do you see them? Uh, is it winter only on um, winter only conditions? The earliest it's I've seen them is in September. And mm -hmm. I, the latest I've seen them was uh, late April. Because mm -hmm. after that, we have too much sunlight. Too much sunlight. Yeah, it never gets I think it's from mid-May until August when it never really gets dark. Mm -hmm. So... I'd say the best time is usually midwinter. Mm -hmm. We didn't see it a lot this year because we had a lot of cloud cover with no snow. Yeah, we did. So, mm -hmm. but it, I'll keep an eye on the forecast, um, what they could expect for solar flares next year because that's kind of what causes them. Mm -hmm. And there's usually, well, I can't really predict the solar flares. So I'll have to, I don't know. I'll talk with you about it soon, Seal. Right. See yeah. if we can figure out something to get, get Cowboy up here. And Matt's garage says, where did the inspiration for the design of Sarah's art studio come from? Our heads. Yeah. We just looked at the room trying to figure out the best we could do with what we if had we and it knowing what she does. Cheap and what I do, yeah. Um, I don't have water upstairs, but it's very handy to come downstairs. Well, we have big enough bowls around here. We, we got big them. bowls. And most of my work is a little bit on the messy side, but um like paper paper i may do on the front porch yeah because we I'll are gonna build summer. A, we're gonna build a summer kitchen out there yeah, I'll, I'll do that in summer we i'll make all the paper in summer and then use the paper to make the books and in the, in the summer time in the winter we did on my last trip to town i did get a uh a three burner outside propane stove from willow rose thanks to phyllis so that's, that's going to turn into our summer kitchen and replace the little Two burner stove I got in here that, that I cook on. Sorry, yeah. it's just way too big. That looked, too small. That looked like a good idea, but it you can't even fit two big pots. The tea kettle has a hard time on. Right, there. the tea kettle fits, but nothing else. Yeah, if if it's there, and no way. It, it's the folks that have been to the house will tell you, my cookware is not small. It's, it's not, not small. light. It's heavy. So I need room where I can sprawl when I cook and yeah, until does. we can find what we want. We're actually looking for a. 1920s 1930s natural gas stove that we can convert over to propane mm -hmm. um, we both like that era on look. certain certain looks mm -hmm. so once we find one of those i can find them all over the east coast but getting it here is not going to happen yeah. yeah i mean i could i could probably have a ship but you put it in a shipping container you never guarantee it's going to make it back in one piece yeah so i'm trying to find something either in alaska or down in washington where I can, you know, yeah. have somebody drop it onto a, mm -hmm. uh, a freighter and get it up here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They were not uncommon in upstate New York. And no, I find them all over Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Massachusetts, Massachusetts, New York. New York, yep. Yep. Yeah, she says hello to RM. RM. Scott says, I mean, syrup. <laughs> right. Yes. Oh, syrup. Yes. Um, wow. For syrup for the maple people or syrup for the um, um, birch people? He's probably talking about maple because he's in Canada. Yeah, he's in the eastern coast. I prefer maple. Strong preference. Yep. To... And Lee says, Sarah, are you working on any particular crafts? Um, I'm thinking, <laughs> well, here. I'm thinking... And I'm rereading, and I I write a little bit of haiku. It's not very good. And I write a little poetry, and I write a little just stuff. And that leads to books. So I've got paper that I make and caustic, which is uh, painting on wax with fire. And that's way fun. So the covers will be of the books will be um, a little thin plywood with some wax and some inclusions of plant material or whatever. Hmm. And I'm trying to focus on stuff that is indigenous to Alaska, something yep. that's here. She'll that's find it. Right in my front yard. Uh, Going to make paper out of fireweed, the jelly pulp. 
know, the flower. Part. And I'm going to try the the leaves. Hi, it Tiffany. should work. Yep. Let's see. And Seal says Juliana is for sale. A sale for sale again, or it was recently. Oh. They wanted a hundred hundred thousand plus for it. So your paint job must have been tops. <laughs> <laughs> I. I'll have to reach out to the girls. I think they their health were not good. Mm. Neither one of their health was very good. So I'll have to reach out to them, see if they're uh, they're okay. Yeah. I know um, Sandy was hit or miss because she had an immune system issue. Mm. And I can't remember how Evelyn was the last time I seen her, but she was having problems walking. So hopefully they're all right. Because they, Sandy, she didn't look it, but she was in her 80s. Oh no. So she was pretty no, spry. She look, you know, she did not look like she was in her no, 80s. No. Um, but they're they were good ladies, good people, and never had a problem, you know, when I was working on that boat, she was always falling behind me with a checkbook. So that's the kind of client I like. Right. That's how Jim was, that's how mm -hmm. Bud was. I had about a dozen clients that were like that, just following me with a checkbook. What's next? What's next? What's next? Mm -hmm. You know, so it was always good to know that it, I had good clients and Good reputation, the money was always going to flow in. Mm -hmm. Again, hi, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian Family Life. Everybody's uh, greeting Tiffany. Matt says to Ashley, tell her if she wants to contribute to the relocation fund, you'll make, <laughs> <a move. laughs> make the move permanent. Uh, everybody's greeting Tiffany. Tiffany's greeting everybody else. And this Fisherman uh, 506. Good to see you in Fisherman 506. I believe the name is Lee. Everybody's greeting one another. Again, if you have questions, please list them. Uh, Ashley says to Matt's garage, if we could agree to stop child support payments, that would work, but doubtful, right? Mm -hmm. And slot car misfits of all scales. What's this show about? This show's about our life up here in Alaska off grid. Um, check out a couple of our videos. You'll, uh, you'll find out what we're about real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's a lot of other channels in here. We do a weekly live on Mondays and just to catch up with everybody. So it's a little bit more personal instead of just going through a video. Exactly. But it's nice to see you in here. Indeed. Uh, Lisa says, I am inundated with, I think it looks like bugs. Yeah. And of course, gobblers uh, are showing off their tail feathers oh, for yes. the hens. Turkey. <laughs> Um, I should say hello to Slot Car, Remote Living Alaska. Yep. Mm -hmm. I says, hey, Rebecca, good to see you, Rebecca. Yes. Hello. I saw you and Jerry's live. I don't know if you saw me say hello to you. I sent you some hugs. Hopefully you and Ronald are doing good. And the puppers. <laughs> Everybody's greeting uh, Rebecca as well as Slot Car Misfits. God, I haven't played with Slot Car since I was a kid. <laughs> Wow. Thanks for bringing back memories, man. Christian was saying hi to Rebecca. Zeus. Hi, Springs, Florida here. Oh, okay. We actually, we moved here from uh, the Charlotte County area of Florida. Mm -hmm. Now he wants to grab the back to us. Yeah. He's being, he's being Zeus. You yeah. know how he is. I do. Yeah. I'm just skipping over everybody greeting and chatting back and forth with slot car. Uh, Danielle says, sorry guys, didn't mean to drop off. Husband called, sounds like puppy is going on a diet. <laughs> yeah, he needs a diet. He needs to be walking more. He needs to get out in the woods with me more, but he's just too scared. If I get him to ride on the four wheeler, it'd be fun, but he won't go on it. You know, but so we're going to have to start walking the trails once the snow's all gone, you know, because the great thing about having Zeus walking with me on a trail and with Sarah as if there's a bear around, he wants to go home instantly. Oh, yeah. And he sm he'll smell it before we see it. Mm -hmm. So that's always kind of nice. Yeah. And Slutcar says, this is about living off grid. Yep. Yes. Yep. We, the, our nearest, the nearest road to us is about 13 miles away. Yep. There are no trails here. The only way we get in and out is by the Alaskan Railroad Flagstop Service. Exactly. So it's uh, not, as, not that easy to get in around out here. We have to plan ahead Yep. for the train schedule. Uh, PTL says, Robin, Sarah, aside from home remedies, do you have local health care? 
we um, have Medicaid, Medicare, stuff like that, but yeah, Medicare. we don't get sick. No. So we're, and we're very careful in our activities, actually. Yeah, and we're, we're actually lucky we have good friends, you know, like Adam and Phyllis. One of the times I went to town, Adam was sick as a dog. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, Rob, don't, don't, don't stop. Don't, don't stop. He's like, I don't want you getting this. You know, because yeah. our, our immune system is, is pretty weak because we do not go to We town. don't see anybody. So we have to be really careful with that. Mm -hmm. If I go to town, if I when I come home, if I if I even feel like I'm getting a sniffle, I won't even give Sarah a kiss or anything when I come no, in the door. No. You know, which he'll of course offends her, but she understands why. I do, and he'll sleep downstairs if he yep. feels awful yep. when and he comes home. But it's very it's only bare. happened once. Because even when we go to town, we don't we, go around people. Too we much. don't go around people too much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and we're also very careful in our work. We don't do anything that we err on the side of caution. We don't do anything that will hurt us no. if we're not I, tip top. I think about things before I do actions Absolutely. because because there's always a reaction to every action. Mm -hmm. And up here, if I do something that's going to blow my back out, mm. I can't get to town. Right. It's Especially different. in the wintertime because in the wintertime, the train only runs once a week. Yeah. You know, once a month it'll run twice a week or three times a week. But I will not risk my health or my body. Mm -mm. I mean, I've had some close calls. I've my fingers been messed up by things falling off the shelves and earthquakes. You know, this this finger here was taken all the way down to the bone in an earthquake. What last summer? Yeah. Last spring. And I had to go yeah. in and get it taken care of. You had to. Yeah. You know, luckily I had. You know, at the time I didn't have a suture kit. I've got a basic suture kit here. I need to get a mm -hmm. better one. And I was able to, you know, put some stop cl or some clot blood clot on it mm -hmm. and. It lasted a week till I get into the hospital or to the doctor's office. They looked at it and said, okay, yeah, you, you did, did the best you could. Did. So he there says you're going to lose mo movement in your finger. For a long time, I was like that. But now I can, you can I can it. almost close it again. Yeah. But this hand's also been mangled up a couple of times where mm -hmm. I actually cut all the tendons through here on my fingers and I had to have major surgery to get them fixed. Oh, this is back when I was around 23. Mm -hmm. I was actually in Scotsland up in Canada. I, I was in uh, Western Ontario. And I was on a fishing trip and fishing and hunting. And we kind of got uh, separated from people. I was a smart one, stayed put. Everybody else wandered around, got lost. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to use a, a knife to make some kindling. And it went right through my hand. Mm -hmm. And I was smart enough and I cauterized it because it was bleeding like a stuck pig. Yeah. And... When I finally got out, you know, once everybody finally got back to where we were supposed to be, mm -hmm. you know, I was the first one back and it took one of the guys almost three days to get back. Oh my goodness, what was he and thinking? We finally went back to town. As soon as we got back down to the States, I went to the, the doctors and they said, Well, you did the right thing. You saved yourself from having major problems. Bad side is is you messed up all your tendons in your hands. And I wore one of those things like this mm. for my hands being stuck out like that to heal the tendons for whew, I think about eight months. That, that was not was fun. A long time. Ago. Yeah, that was in my early twenties, yeah. early to mid twenties. We're just careful, and my immune system is extremely strong. Yeah. I no. haven't been sick. It's not because we're not exposed to anything. No, anymore. we're not. But it, <laughs> it historically, everybody gets sick, and I don't. Yeah. So. Ed said, "Magpie is always at the let to sixty-two bird feeder all winter long." Yeah. Oh yeah. I only time I find the the, no. the magpies is when we have Tyrion up here. Mm -hmm. And Miss Alone says, "Man." Oh, she's been. I weird. have been trying to figure out what kinds of birds I see here that are entirely white, white. Uh, tiny, okay. and fly in small flocks. I see them by the roadside. How tall? It almost sounds like a uh, ptarmigan. All I can think of. Or are you talking ptarmigan. really tiny? Ptarmigan, ptarmigan are about. Yeah, they're about the size of a grouse, yeah, about yay big. Yeah. They're dainty looking, though. They're quite yeah. delicate looking. And there's Arlen from AFJ the third. So good evening, sir, Rob and Sarah. I hope you're both doing well. Oh, yeah. We are. Thank you very much for showing up, Arlen. How are you doing down there, down south? It says I fed those magpies forty dollars worth of sunflower yeah, right. seeds. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, That's funny. We have a trillion chickadees. 
Sarah was like, oh, we're almost out of bird seed. You're going to have oh, to make sure you get some. And I, of course I forgot it. Then I come, come home and the other day I'm upstairs when we're redoing the upstairs, putting the, um, doing some stuff up there while well, you guys saw the videos. The studio together. I'm like, there's half a 50 pound bag of bird right. seeds in here. Yeah. Drive downstairs and fill the toad up. It'll, it'll go till spring when the, we stop feeding when the bears come out. Yep. Uh, it says those are snow buntings. Snow Grizzly buntings. Grizzly said it sounded like time again. Uh-huh. It depends on how big they are. Alan say hi to Ashley. And there's Ryan and Melody. Good to see hi, you guys. both. Hi, guys. My wild home. He's oh, at the door again. Door again. He thinks he's a cat. In, out, in, out, in, out. Crazy little dog. Can't give him a dog door because everybody else can come in it. Yeah. Yeah. Dog door for Zeus is going to allow everything in it. Everybody's greeting Melody and Ryan from my wild home. Are you gonna be happy? Are you gonna be happy? Come here. Come here. Come on. Look over here. Over here. Look. Your fans are over there. No, I don't want those kisses. Okay, go away. No, no, you're wound up. Don't do it. <laughs> He's full of beans. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, he speaks Wookie every now and then. I try to talk back. I don't think it works. Zuby. Oh my. <laughs> All right, we'll worry. All right, Ashley's dropping links. Scott's dropping links. Um, everybody's saying hello to Melody and Ryan. If you haven't checked out their, their videos, you need to. Oh, they're they, they, amazing. That movie. island they got is, I, I'm envious of that. Wow. I mean, I love our little place up here. You know, we got our own little island just in the middle of the woods. <laughs> right. But their island, they got is nice. It is lovely. I can't believe you guys got that many solar panels you're going to be using. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yes, you're we've got, that place. we've got three cabins, six or seven outbuildings, and I'm running off six solar panels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, no, we no, got we got you, about six got over six on the cabin over there, but they're only 85 they're waters. They're old, too. Yeah, they're like 25 years old. Right. And I was like, man. Yeah. I envy all those solar panels. Oh. I, I have this place charged up in about 10 minutes. <clears throat> but I think you guys are also a 48 volt system, too. And we're only at 24. Okay. Let's see. And micro, Nordic Microfarm says, Hello, Sleepy Holland. Not a sleepy Norwegian here. <laughs> no. I have, <laughs> have been hooked on, on their British uh. bake off and have turned my hours around by binge watching. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm making it even worse by what? But watching YouTube, <laughs> right. right? Oh my! Yeah, those uh, British baking shows—they mm. <laughs> make some crazy stuff on there. <laughs> the one that I, we liked the most was the pottery one. I wish that would oh, come back. I liked the pottery one. Yeah. Did they do the chainsaw one? Yeah, they also did I the liked chainsaw the one. Chainsaw too. one, too. chainsaw rot one. Yeah, uh, but I used to be a potter, so yeah. the pottery one was really fun. Everybody's greeting one another. And the barman said, Sarah, Barbara sent you some recipes for pickles and oh. different candy type desserts. Yay. Are you going to cook? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I might help. That's it. No. <laughs> no. But I might do pickles and I might, <laughs> I might do candy. Did she send him an email, Bob, or did she uh, send him in the mail? Right. Let me just know. Can make sure yeah, we look. We she, make doesn't, sure we... she doesn't look at her email all that much. Not very often. Everybody's greeting Melody and Ryan. Mm -hmm. Ashley's dropping links. Melody says, "I love coming to say hello to you guys." Sarah <laughs> is such a lovely person. Rob, oh. you have always been such a support to us. Thank you, oh, folks. Both. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we've been enjoying your video since we found you Absolutely. and getting to know you guys a little bit by chit chatting back and forth and via the lives and in the comments section. You know, you, you're good people. And there's so we like fun. to be around good people, mm -hmm. you know, just like anybody, you know. And it, you're so brave. Yeah. 
Yeah, you guys are you guys are doing amazing things up there. Absolutely. You know, keep adding, definitely keep posting. Oh yeah. When do you expect oh, to be yeah. on the island full time? Probably gonna be another year or so, or do you Probably. think by the end of the summer? I'm really curious. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm itching to find out. Mm -hmm. And we we watch your videos on a regular basis, Melody, just like a lot of the other channels. Mm -hmm. We don't always get a chance to comment because we watch it on the TV while we're we doing do, this in yeah. the kitchen mm -hmm. or eating or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we don't always get a chance to comment. Yeah. Yeah, but it's greeting one. But another. do keep in mind that everything that we've ever tried takes about twice as long as we expect. Yeah. So there's that. But it's yep. certainly worth doing. Definitely. Absolutely. Uh, Mike says, yeah, your cookware is super stout for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and there's Beto. Yeah. How you doing, Beto? This is Robin. Hello, Robin Sarah from Edgen, Alaska. And Beto is down in um, San Paulo, I think. Mm. Brazil. Oh, wow. And if AK Faragi was in here, actually, Matt will speak with him a little bit. And I think Matt speaks a little Brazilian Portuguese. Oh, my. Anybody's greeting in there, though. Melody and Ryan. Nice. And Vito. Mm -hmm. Going back and forth. That's good. Mm -hmm. and Ruby, Melody and Ryan say, hey, Ruby. Nice to see you. And Billy says, hi, Nordic Microfarm. Sometimes... YouTube keeps me up late too, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that does it to all of us. That's what I have a tendency to set the phone down, computer down, and all that by like what nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. You know, because I'll play games and stuff on my my tablet, and mm -hmm. after a certain time, I just set it down and I walk away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So hey, there's Steve and Susie's homestead. How you doing, Steve? Good to see you in here. Skipping over all the nicey niceies, but everybody. Um, Nordic Microfarm says, Do you have any videos of Sarah making books? I haven't no. been on YouTube for a while. Would love to see a video on that. Not yet. Uh, it's once a pretty she, slow work. <laughs> <laughs> once she gets <laughs> once she gets some uh, paper made out of the fireweed mm -hmm. petals, um, I will fill the film the process of that for her, mm -hmm. and then I will set up a time lapse for her to start doing the making of the book so it'll take like a, a picture like every 30 seconds mm -hmm. over whatever time it takes to do it then i'll put it in a video format and then speed it up so it right, takes like yeah. 10 minutes to make yeah. but we'll we'll tell you how long it actually takes to do it uh, in the description but that that probably won't happen until the fall and i do a lot of i do some watercolors on tea bags yep um which is way fun but slow work and for one thing it's you put a wash on the, you have to un -op you open the tea bag. It's been used or not. You spread them all out in a line and you take a water wash and then you take a color wash and then you have to wait until that sort of dries. And yeah. <laughs> it takes time. Yeah. It's, it's not a labor intensive, rugged work. <laughs> it's time consuming, though. Yeah. Not yeah. like pottery. Danielle from Summerfield Draft Horses says, oh, speaking of fireweed jelly, mm -hmm. I'm going to make some jelly from the apple blossoms and kudzu. Oh. Uh, if we had if we had good dandelions, I want to try making that as well. Ooh, there oh, you go. Oh, yeah. They actually found a, a use for the kudzu. I'll be darned. Wow. Yeah, that stuff's that stuff invasive. That stuff pain in that. Mm -hmm. I won't say what I was When you say, pick but... your dandelions, I, I made dandelion wine once, twice. One year I made it myself and I picked the dandelions, no green from the flowers. Yeah. And there is a day, and I can't remember the day, it's a holiday that you're supposed to pick the dandelion green or flowers. The next year I let the kids pick with me and I couldn't get all the little green from the under part of the flower out. And it was so bitter. Yeah. You couldn't even drink the wine. But I had also made apple wine from mm -hmm. um, little bitty um, sour apples. Yep. And it was sweet. Yep. So I mixed my wines, poured them all together, put them in a jug, and I called it Dandy Apple Lion Wine. Yep. And it was perfect. Now, John Hogan's cousin up in Vermont from Boyd Family Farms mm -hmm. sent us up some dandelion wine last year oh, that was to die for. Lovely. Oh my, I think we finished up that bottle really quick. Uh, it went quick. <laughs> and we're not big wine drinkers. I mean, I got a, a stash but, of wine. I've got wine that's 40 something years old over there. We're just not big wine drinkers. But that stuff was really it. good. I mean, I like my mead. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'm a mead maker. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy that kind of wine, honey wine. Mm -hmm. But a regular grape wine, 
Hmm. You know, which is great because well, being Portuguese, my family had, you know, a lot of winemaking experience as well mm -hmm. as baking and stuff like that. Right, right. I just never really developed a, a huge taste for wine. I do like it occasionally. I like a little pink wine. Yeah. Little get, white. Get, a, get that little bottle white. over there that... Uh, yes, yes. Who brought those out? Um... Was it Mike? It was not Mike. It might have been Mike. I can't remember. Somebody brought us a bottle of... Somebody Sutter brought Hall. us some, and we haven't opened it yet, but we will, and we do appreciate it. And we'll have it maybe when company comes. Mm -hmm. Ashley, do you like wine? <laughs> well, um, it if you do. Nordic is thanking Scott from Emily with the Brums for dropping the little channel links. Ah, oh, sweet. Back here, truck says, fun listening to the lives. Yeah. Melanie and Ryan say hello to Scott. Yes. And again, if you have questions, make sure you give us a thumbs up to see if the stupid thing does it. Yeah, it goes. <laughs> right so in front of Sarah. <laughs> no, hang on, let's see if it all, what is it, this one? No. Oh. <laughs> or is it this one here that does the fireworks? Nope. It didn't nope. do it. Nope. Water does fireworks. That's all oh, I, I don't know what it would be. Uh, see, Lee says, Rob, what is a picture? Was that was a picture was of a, a picture turkey? Of a okay, turkey. <laughs> it's, the computer is just so small, I couldn't really oh. tell. I'm sorry. <laughs> does this, a turkey. Don't think this is a pop up for the chat, so I can't really pop it out to look at it better. Yeah, we had a gazillion turkeys in upstate New York on a dirt road off a dirt road. Yeah, our actually, our area for doing the lives may change mm -hmm. now that we're getting the upstairs finished where I have my um, computer gear. We may be able to start doing our lives up there so we can be a little bit more comfortable and laid back and sort of leaning forward like just to read. I can put it up on the big screen TV. But instead of looking at you guys this way, you'll you'll be seeing me reading up here. <laughs> so I gotta find a way to put a camera up there. So you'll get our you know, you're not looking at my NAS. <laughs> you know. Everybody's greeting one another. Steve. Again, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Mm -hmm. See here. Oh, it just sounds painful. Um, I don't, don't know what that was for. Uh, marketplace. marketplace boutique, but mm -hmm. it could have been for my arm. Oh, I'm behind okay. on, on comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about 15, 15, 16 minutes out. Wow. And Molly says, thanks for the fun. See y'all later. Not a problem, Molly. I'm sure you're gone by now, and I'm sorry I didn't see the oh, comment until yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm alone said a really tiny like finch. That's going to be the snow bun thing. Uh -huh. Tiny, like a little yeah, they're, they're about yay big. Yeah, we used to get um, we used to get a bunch of buntings down at Punta Gorda all the time, not in your area, in the outskirts down by. Mm. Uh, my friend Lori had a place down by the uh, botanical gardens off River Road. Oh yeah, yeah. I I didn't get many birds. I mm -hmm. got snakes in the yard and bunnies <laughs> and squirrels and squirrels. Yeah, uh, hey Susan, got you. Good to see you in here, Hi, Susan. Susan. Hopefully Susan. you're doing well. Leon Maine says that's saying stuck pig for years. I said stuffed pig. <laughs> that's all Frank got set me straight. Uh. <laughs> Susan saying hi to everybody. Uh, trucker says hello. Hi, Alan in remote Alaska. It probably means alone. Yep, there's oh, the, 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 the repair of that comment. Mm -hmm. And it says, whoops. Mm. <laughs> and it says so alone definitely snow buntings mm. yeah yeah if they're only yay bigger so the definitely guys. definitely the buntings cute she did say they were little yeah well don't know how close she can see me either they might be 150 feet out oh, that's true and they're only this far away <laughs> <laughs> and there is follow alaska good to see you in here lynn i'm, I'm assuming it's lynn I'm sure the hubby's off working. Mm -hmm. And JR says, with the damage to your left hand tenons, probably made it hard to pick your nose. <laughs> I'm right handed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I could play along real quick, too. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, no, it, it didn't. I'm actually very thick headed. That's the Irish in me when it comes to pain. I can have problems, and I, after about 10 minutes, I ignore it. And I don't feel it again unless I, you know, ouch, I hit it. 
Man, that's always been a downfall of me. I, I had a shattered tooth about eight years ago. I felt the sharp pain. I said, eh, took a Tylenol, didn't think about it again, and went to the dentist to have it checked. And it was about, you know, I think it took about a month to get in because down in Florida, dentists are horrible to get into. It takes forever to get in. I walked in. He's like, oh, my God. He's like, don't you, doesn't that hurt? What? He goes in with the pick. Ow! I'm going to pop you. Hmm. It's just that. I said, it didn't hurt until you just touched it. Now it hurts. Hmm. And he says, well, good night. Give me a <laughs> shot. And I was out cold. <laughs> wow. Woke up and he's like, okay, you'll be, you'll feel better now. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Uh, Lisa's I've never seen a magpie. They're they're actually they're kind pretty. of cool birds. They're they're blue, black, and white. More color. Yeah. And they're bigger, way way bigger than chickadees. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah they're way. they're fairly good sized. Let's see. A little bit glamorous, almost. Ed says, I see them during my drive to mm -hmm. and from work in the Richard, on the Richardson. They are also in abundance around my cabin. Oh, and we nice. we don't get a large variety no. of birds here. No. <laughs> but we stop feeding also in, 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 in May. Yeah. So it doesn't draw the bears. And of course, what do I do when I, you know, because it's sunflower seeds. What do I do when I go into town recently? I buy Sarah's sunflower seeds to plant. <laughs> so... I'll be having to watch those all summer and make sure the bears don't come sniffing around. Yeah. Because at least they'll be planted all the way from the house where mm -hmm. the bird feeders, feeders attached to the window. Yeah. So I'm on the front porch. Look out the window and get a big old snook looking at me coming in. Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, Quinn says, have a good evening, everyone. Got to run for now. Hopefully get to join. I'll ask you to cut the cord live later. Oh, I hope Take it so, easy, yeah. Quinn. It's good seeing yeah. you in here, bud. Absolutely. And I know it's about 15 minutes too late, but yeah. they're a scream. You'll you know you need to see them. Yep. Everybody's saying good night to Clint. And Paul Alaska saying hi to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve says, like singing in the wrong words to a song for years. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. <laughs> and there's still there's a couple songs that have still debated, you know, what the words actually are. Mm -hmm. And Ashley says, Lynn doing well, be better Wednesday. Definitely, oh, Ashley. Yeah. And she says to Nordic Microphone, I love those shows too. Yes. Yeah. Talking about the British baking shows and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, those are fun. Uh, um, Lynn says, I bet you're not going to get much sleep tomorrow now and then. Now, between now and then to Ashley. Yeah, oh, he's gonna be, yeah, he'll be He's going to be wired for sound and focus on that plane. He's going to get up here. He's going <laughs> to... Be on no, cold for like a week. no, he can't be on call for a week. He's got a lot to see and do here. Yep, a including lot of getting on the train, see, places to go. Right, Ashley says, Lynn, I better get some or I'll miss my flight. Right, oh. let's see. Melanie and Ryan say, When we get when we be back on May 15th, hoping to be able to be there full time after the main cabin is built. Yeah, so much to happen. They're so, so we're so, so excited. excited. I bet you are. So the cabin that you built is not going to be your main cabin. No, I'm that's sure little... that's that's a tiny cabin. So mm -hmm. you're probably going to build something much larger. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. Oh, it'll be so much. Because I know in some of your videos, you reference to the cabins. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like us where you've got multiple buildings right. that you're going to have going up yeah, or we've... already have up. Right. Yeah, we've got a trapper cabin that's just one room. And that's um, going to get worked on this summer a little mm -hmm. bit. And the regular cabin and then our house. Yep. And Paul Alaska says, Ashley, please, for the love of all things good, don't miss the flight. No, exactly. Don't miss the flight. Actually, if, if you miss that flight, Ashley, you can never come to Alaska again. Oh, so make sure your scary. butt's on the airplane. Absolutely. Be there. Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it is April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And I hope everybody had a good Easter. Oh, yes, that too. Or Passover and all that stuff. Uh, Joan Plaver. Pla yeah, I think it's Plaver. Hello, all. Good to see you in here. Yes. And Billy says, Lynn laughs. Mm. Uh, Lynn would, would never forgive. I would never forgive myself, right? Oh. Yeah, that'd it be a hard be one to forgive yourself on, Ashley. Yeah. That's right. Everyone sent Ashley a reminder message, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what time's your flight, Ashley? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll make sure I send reminders. Uh, yes. Joan is <laughs> greeting <laughs> Billy and Ashley. 
Uh, the apartments say they are in the mail. Uh, the, de oh, the dessert the is desserts. a milk bake from a oh. holistic friend. You can give them to Rob. <laughs> ah, no bake. I can do no happen. bake. Yeah, she might be able to do no bake. Mm -hmm. She can cook. She just I chooses cook. not to cook. Because she likes being spoiled and pampered. So. All right. Melanie and Ryan say, super smart to set down your phone at a certain time. I tried, mm -hmm. to, tried but I do have a, uh, a challenge with it. My family is across the globe, so I'm mm -hmm. ex mm -hmm. accessible 24-7 to them. And then I see notifications. And, yeah, mm -hmm. I understand that. You know, I've, I've always had to worry about my folks. My dad's, you know, helps, you know, he's 80-something years old. He's got dementia and Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, mom's in, in pretty good pretty good health. So, but you, you still got to worry about your family when they get older or even, you know, people that aren't old. I mean, sure. I've had friends that have dropped dead, you know, at 40-something at 40 years old, sure. you know, back in New Hampshire, you know. I mean, Hogan tried to do that on me when he was 45. Shocking. Yes. You know, having a freaking heart attack and then having to have a quadruple bypass. You know, you know, luckily he's 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 stubborn and didn't want to go. Mm -hmm. it's still uh, too much to do. Yeah, it's still too much to do. Yeah. Anybody see Paul Velasco saying hey to uh marketplace boutique and the mouse at working. There we go. Uh thanks. I'm going to find you now. Mm -hmm. I'm skipping over everybody chit chatting. And Mike says, Rob, just just say you won't pull a gym LOL. Oh God, no. <laughs> well, it depends on what you're talking about. <laughs> Almost anything. <laughs> don't do it. I don't know. Jim had some good good uh theories. I'm king of the mountain. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. I'm king of my domain. Mm -mm. But no, I won't be shooting at any no. snow machiners coming up my trail. Right. <laughs> don't be blowing your hand off. No, I'm not going to blow my hands off or my legs right. off. No, no, I don't do anything. I don't mm -hmm. do anything that stupid. No. I'm not saying Jim was stupid, Jim. Don't come after me. No, he was not stupid. He was um, preoccupied bold. or something. He was bold. Yep. Back here, Trucker says to Marketplace Boutique, we need to go find the lights in the, in the UP this year. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Steve says dandy apple lion wine. Yeah. Oh, just of that, right? It was so much fun. <laughs> Iris says, I'm All the neighbors came in and brought their friends. Can we smell your kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> Take the lid off that crock. <laughs> Iris says, I'm back now after needing bread. I love oh. dandy lion wine when I lived in upstate, uh, upstate Shenango County. Very popular. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's where I lived. I grew up in Shenango County. Yep. And Linia Main says, Robin, sir, what kind of wild berries do you have in your area? We have raspberries, Red blueberries, blueberries. Uh, cranberries, currants, and rose hips. Rose hips are berries? I don't know if they're a berry or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put that in there. Yeah, we do have them. Yeah, we, we get a lot of berries, actually. Um, the raspberries Nancy planted here, we do have strawberries, but they are extremely like micro strawberries and they don't get very big. They're old heirloom seeds. And somebody plants. eats them and it's not Zeus. Yeah, the shrews and bulls. The little shrews and bulls. Well, we have probably around, there's probably about 20 acres worth of blueberries. They yes. are everywhere. We have some on the hill here. And this past fall, I found all kinds of them out here mm. going up the hill and they're everywhere. So we need to. I we know. need we need to pick them more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this this last year's crop was actually sweeter. Good. Yeah, they were sweeter. than than the previous two years. We have uh, I think one or yeah. two bags left. Oh, we have more than that, and I thought we should have had them for breakfast this morning. I make pancakes small. Okay, we'll eat them then. Um, we're actually looking There's forward to two the... bags in the freezer in the house. Yeah, we're looking forward to fiddleheads to start popping here oh, sometime yeah. next month. And we're going to collect a lot of them this year because I want to make some um, pickled ones to give out to friends and family mm -hmm. and want to free, try to freeze some of them mm -hmm. and maybe just try, straight up can them instead of pickling them. So because mm -hmm. some people don't always like the pickling. And I think the canned ones maybe can be like fried. Yeah, you can probably fry them up. Yeah. What I'll have to do is I'll have to do a can up a couple of them one day, then let them sit for a couple of days and try see and see if happens. I can actually do them yeah. before I do a bunch of them. Right. But I'll probably try to make a, maybe two big batches of pickled ones, give some to Adam and Phyllis, send some out to alone. 
and or, send some to our friends on here. Oh, yep. yep, absolutely. Last summer, I spent a lot of time just watching the land in our in our yard and on our property, and I let it go just to do what it would do and read what to expect when. So this year I have a plan for the ferns that grow outside the south side of the house. I'm going to pick them real early when they're fiddleheads and do whatever we do with fiddleheads. And then I love them when they're about this high. They're beautiful. They cover the entire space. And when they get past that height, they look just wild. Mm -hmm. And when they're that wild, I'm going to trim them all off put them in bags, dry them, and um, make paper out of them. See if they work for paper. And see if they work for paper. Yep. And I th I think they will. Mm -hmm. I was amazed at what the the fireweed flowers made. Right. Uh, Steve it says, takes a lot to make a little, but still. Steve says, the craziest wine I've ever seen was tomato wine. It was oh, very good. Never amazing. heard of it. Yeah, and Marketplace Boutique either. says to uh, Railroad Mike, added... You said added, yeah, yeah. but you I bet you see a lot of great things from the train. Yeah, oh, he's got yeah, a lot yeah. of knowledge on the train and how Incredibly it works, and incredibly knowledge. Some other stuff that we'll be uh, doing some videos on this summer with Mike as well. Mm -hmm. uh, she says mead is amazing. Oh, it yeah. is we actually. We'll uh, we'll pop a bottle while you're up here. I've got a couple Absolutely. bottles left. Mm -hmm. I've got uh, some that Tom made, and I've got maybe two bottles of what I made left over from back mm. in Florida from like eight years ago. They're both good. Yeah, they're both good. No, you haven't had any of my good stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've had some of yours, but yeah, you had some of, some of my newer stuff that I made. Oh, you had that from the, the last batch I made. That's actually the bottle I got over this from one of the, the very first batches I made. Mm. Um, you know, what not one of the first ones, but one of my earlier ones. Mm. Uh, back here, Craig says to Ira, I have a cat that does that. Oh, I must have missed something from Ira. Oh. I'm sorry, Ira. Mm. Ashley says to Lynn, a little off here, new phone, new phone. learning mm. on the fly. Not a problem, Ash. Uh -huh. I'm just going to be going through these real quick because Adam and Phyllis's live is going to be starting in about 15 minutes. So oh, I just want to see this if there's any fast. questions. Yeah, I went quick tonight. This went really fast. Let's see. I'm seeing if there's any questions that pop out. And then see Grizzly Egg says, I made birch syrup wine, birch sap wine. Mm. Initially, I did not like it, but when, but uh, then oh, after really? this age, over a year, wow. Oh, that's to very good to know, Grizzly Egg. Yeah. Thank you. Because I was not impressed with the, uh, the syrup, syrup. Pretty much syrup. Um, of course, I'm spoiled by maple because I'm an upstate New York. Roger, next time I come in town, we'll have to get together and we'll go yeah, over some of that. I'd like right. to find out how to do that with the, with the birch syrup. Absolutely. I like the birch syrup best as it was just boiled the first day and then drink it. So it was a little more... Um, a little less weak. Yeah. A little more condensed. She actually liked it after I um, got one of the pans really hot and kind of mm -hmm. scorched it a little bit to give right. it a little color. And it gave it kind of like a toasted taste to it. Yes, she liked that. That was it. very good. That's what's in the refrigerator right now, by the way. So you're going to want to drink that. Gonna if you're not going to drink it, you're going to dump it. Oh, we'll have it for breakfast. Because that can't be sitting that long. No. Okay. Uh, Nordic says, good night, everyone. Mm. I have to be at a function, <laughs> a functioning <laughs> adult for my kids tomorrow. And if I'm lucky, I'll get three hours of sleep tonight. Mm. Uh, we have a fun chat with all of you. Finally, you see your live. Oh, well, we're glad you made it in here, Nordic. Enjoy your children. They don't last long. They grow they up. They don't okay. expire. They grow up and then they're no fun anymore. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ashley got a uh, Samsung Galaxy. Nice. Steve says, please just clean the nose out before you're looking at the TV. We appreciate it, right? <laughs> mm, silly, silly. Everybody's talking back and forth. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do we miss about Florida the most? I don't miss Florida. I miss my friends. And the ones that are important to me, I chat with on a regular basis. You know, I'd, John, my friend Cam, and a few others that I talk to on a regular basis. 
Sarah's, yeah. Sarah's, you know, I'm she, not she a had her daddy, little, but I had a group that was She had her garden club and that she had her brunch mm -hmm. bunch, mm -hmm. you know, so we each had our own and little, my dearest uh, friend who um, was from, was in Florida, uh, moved away before I did. So I, mm -hmm. I miss her in other ways. But other than that, that's really yeah. what we miss is it's really? not, not the state, it's the people no. and, and, and public subs every now and then. Public I subs. How public subs? You don't need subs. I do. I, don't need I was subs. always outside working. Oh well, I was always outside playing. If you don't know what Publix, it's just a local grocery chain down in the southeast, and they had really good subs. Oh, subs are subs. Who no, cares? they're not. They're not. <laughs> Listen, lady, we're gonna go around without this after live, huh? We're gonna go around. <laughs> Uh, Ashley says, Lynn was in a rush, just grabbed it. I don't do tech stuff, so I deal with it as I get. Yep, yes, I'm Look no tech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello, Robin Sarah, and everyone else. Hey, boot knife, good to see you. <laughs> I'm just skimming through these unless I see a yep. question because uh, uh, we're getting close to the close time. Yeah. Ray's in Alaska, good to see you in here. Question yes, our is spring, spring is on hold. on hold. Yes, it's absolutely i think we're on third winter yeah <laughs> so it's supposed to get nice out for us again here soon we'll see if we go into a fourth or third spring and a fourth summer or winter yeah i think this we had we had an almost spring i was ready yeah no. jr sister ashley come on in alaska be careful ashley you might be building fixing bridges and cabins oh yeah <laughs> actually the bridges are all done except for one and that'll be done as soon as the breakup is done and over with mm -hmm. And he won't be here long enough with this new snow right. to um, build the bridges that I have in mind. Right. Well, backyard mm -hmm. truckers heading up to the UP right now. That's good to know. Yep. Everybody's greeting Ray's in Alaska. Nice. Have a great trip from Ash from Ira to Ashley. Mm-hmm. Oh, living yes, Alaska. Good, good to trip. see you guys. If you guys don't know living Alaska, this is a, a family down in the Kenai. Um, Ashley, dropped a link if you already haven't. They're uh, got a number of kids living with them down there, and I watched some of their stuff the other day and their lives. They they're interesting people to watch. So make sure you check them out. Now, I'm not going to tell you everything about them because you need to learn out on your own by going to watch their videos. Right, right. Because you know, they, they know what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. So make sure you check them out. I was in there watching them with their live yesterday, and they were tending to. Uh, the animal pens and they're putting up fencing using cattle grates oh, and building yeah. their own frames around it. So good. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Knowledgeable. Know, backyard trucker says I just added raised in Alaska uh raised oh, in Alaska good. also. Good. Good. But yeah, Alaska Living, make sure you check them out, guys. It's it's worth um, looking into. Stephen Susie's homestead says we put stakes in the ground marking the layout of a new place this week. Wow. Step one of a thousand. Right, yes. Steve. Oh boy, <coughs> that's exciting stuff. Yep. Step uh, one. Ashley, my dad had a widow maker with ninety five percent blockage at forty seven. Oh. I'm forty eight, and it's time to get it back. Uh, get after the bucket list. Oh, yeah. 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 John had four widow makers. He had a quadruple bypass. Yeah. That was just. Next time he's up here, we'll we'll talk about right. the whole ordeal when John went to the hospital and lots oh, of fun Lord. with the Mustang, and <laughs> ah. <laughs> that'll be some funny story to tell him. Mm. That and we'll tell you about the crazy turtle. <laughs> uh, living Alaska says just got the alert and figured I'd stop in and say hello. Well, I'm glad you did. Oh, is it yeah, uh, Scott or is it, it the missus or one of the uh, one of the munchkins? Um, let's see, yeah, all less because it goes from a thousand to two thousand really quick, and then by the yeah. end of it, it's all up to like five or ten thousand. Uh, there's a few different ways you can actually make jelly out of the rose hips, or you can mm -hmm. dry it and make tea out of it. Yes, so tea, a few, different things, of. few different things you can do with it. Besides, they're really pretty and they smell wonderful when you walk by the bush. Yep. And if you're up our way, be careful what you touch. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of weird plants up here. We do indeed. That's Koga. <laughs> he's gonna kick me. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna set a booby trap and whatever he sends up to me next. I keep picking on him. Uh, Mike says, uh, "Can your fiddlehead 
can your fiddleheads as you would green beans. They they'll come out oh, really? perfect. Saute them in lemon and butter. Oh, and stir. oh very good. Oh, That's good to know, Mike. Wonderful. Thanks, Thank you. Mike. Yeah. I will be doing that then. We'll can them. Mm -hmm. uh, back to trucks. I'm going to Iron Mountain and then over to the bridge and back home in Chicago now. Wow. Oh, there you go. Getting those miles in. Trucking. Mm -hmm. I, think he's, he, I believe he's talking with um, Brooke Trout. Mm. Brooke Trout's area. This Kim says, we need a video of how to make that mead. I oh, have to get yeah. everything together before I can make any more mead. I and, need to get carboys. I need to get my burpers. I need, there's a lot I need to get. And I should be able to find it locally. And honey is hard to come by here. Bees Good don't, honey. Yeah. Bees don't overwinter well here. No. So that's tricky. Ashley, get ready to drop Adam and Phyllis's live link. We'll go over there mm -hmm. in about two minutes. And I want to thank all my moderators <laughs> for being in here tonight. Scott, Ashley, um, Alone. I think I think I, I think I gave Ed a wrench a while back. <coughs> I don't know if he's used it on anybody. I mean, used it for some lips yet. You're bad. Uh, see, Ira says, "Is your mom still looking in Fitzgerald?" Actually, she's waiting on the closing date. The house just got all the inspections done on Ira. Um, mm -hmm. I'll be in touch with you soon, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call or something like that. Nikki you sent me your number, and I just want to kind of go over the, the area where she's at, make sure she's okay. Yeah. Should have done it before she purchased it, but you know how that goes. They, uh, they just finished the inspections on it on Friday, so she's mm -hmm. waiting. It's all in underwriting right now. Okay. I'm just looking for any questions that pop out at me. Uh, Lee says, growing up in Connecticut, we – called sub sandwiches grinders yep <laughs> grinders hoagies mm. Ira says we have Publix in uh, Tipton Georgia we'll try to we'll try their subs yeah I <laughs> uh, see they they have you know house meat and boar's head it, it's mm -hmm. done just how they make it the salad dressing or the the oil and vinegars and stuff that they have it always comes out so good uh living Alaska says not sure if you mentioned it could you send me some information on that if you that fan you installed in the video oh yeah yeah um scott get a hold of me on facebook um i think i sent you a link to my personal one it's easier for me to chat there because some something's with with uh meta it acts stupid when i try to use it on my business channel it's incredibly efficient oh they, they moved from uh they were saying to ira we moved to alaska from Walter. i think i pronounced it right which is that way all right, um, Robin, mm -hmm. sir from Lee, you are going to post a video when Ashley arrives. That's oh, yeah, up to yeah, Ashley. Yeah, I right, haven't that's... talked to Ashley about that. So, and I know his videos, he doesn't really talk in and, and he doesn't really show his face. So, that's totally up to Ashley. I will not push on that or anything like that. All right, I'm just mm -hmm. skipping down through here. Uh, let's see if any questions. Scott says, We have done tea. I am curious about jam. Uh, I am a chef and enjoy making mm -hmm. our own jams, jams in the house. house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely get in touch with me, Scott, if that's who, that's that's who I'm right. talking to. I don't know if it's Scott or the missus. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I want to thank all of our moderators for, for being on here tonight and all of you guys for being in here tonight. You guys make this always so much easier to, for us. And, again, we've been doing this almost a year now for the lives. I think it's the 18th of April when we did our first live. Wow. And you guys have been very supportive of everything we do. And we really, 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 really appreciate that. And I'm thinking, you know, when when we get a little higher on the sub count, I'm kind of really considering doing something really generous for all you guys. So I'll tell you one that when we get a little higher on our sub count, because of all of our older subs that have been here for the beginning, mm. might get a little added bonus in on something. Huh. You'll see. And me? Will I see? No. Oh. Get, get. Anyway, somebody drop a link for us. Got the cord. Let's get over there and cuss around. <laughs> yes, let's go. Um, wait, 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 wait. He says, what is a weird topic to tonight? We've got like little like three minutes, two minutes before they come on. We need a weird, weird. Oh, yeah, a weird topic. Topic for tonight. Uh, pero, uh, abrigado. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So let's come up with a weird topic we can talk about it over there. I have Anyways, no idea. let's get over to see Adam and Phyllis at Alaska Cut the Cords Live. And we will see you all next week. We really appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out with chatting with us. 
And if you have questions or anything like that, we did not touch on either save them for next week or send me an email. Our email sure. is inside of our about section on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You can find us on you, uh, Facebook as well under the Quangen uh, AK. So just been in touch with us one way or another, or just ask your questions and keep asking until I get it. <laughs> I'm kind of thick headed. I am Portuguese and Irish. So anyways, it's great fun though. Let's get over and see Adam. Hey, 1968 sourdough just showed up. Oh, boy. He says, uh, as always, made my Monday. <laughs> nice to see you all. Just hiding. Uh, oh. Not a problem, brother. Not a problem. Let's go over to Adam and Phyllis, guys. We'll see you guys over there. You all have an amazing day. Hopefully you had a great Easter. Hopefully you're having a great Monday. Yeah. Go over to Pastor Adam and Phyllis. They'll make it even funnier. Last week, <laughs> we were all in stitches for hours with them, too. And then me and Adam were stitches for a while afterwards, afterwards because we're yeah. still going on. <laughs> Anyways, Marketplace, Beto, Sourdough, everybody, everybody, Bartman's, everybody have an amazing night. And we will see yep. you on the next video and the next live on Monday. Y'all have a great Bye. day and we'll talk to you soon. Make it over to Adam and Phil says, Bye.